Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. SS454 LS6 here. In today's video, we are going to install this Wagner Dual Flow Adjustable PCV Valve. Supposedly, this is amazing if you have excess crankcase pressure, which can cause, you know, leaks and drips on your driveway and whatnot. And even though I don't have a huge problem with that, I do have some seepage. So hopefully we can get rid of that and just generally improve the performance of the crankcase pressure. Some of the symptoms of a poor performing PCV system are oil leaks, which I've already mentioned, but also fouling of your spark plugs because of oil in your cylinders, which obviously causes excess oil consumption as well. And that's one of the problems I've had in the past, the fouling of the spark plugs. The instructions come with a little installation checklist. Do I have baffles? Yes, I do. Do I have a fresh air breather? Yes, I do. And do I have an oil separator, which is not required? And no, I do not. So the Wagner instructions say the minimum clearance between the bottom of the PCV valve and the baffle inside the valve cover is one and an eighth inch. And we are at not even an inch. So we're gonna have to remove the valve cover and address this. So this is the baffle that I have in my valve covers, and I've put a little piece of clay on here to gauge the clearance I have between the baffle and my rocker arms, because if I have to lower this down a quarter of an inch or maybe get a different baffle altogether, I do not want to have any kind of clearance issues with my valve train, because that would be terrible. So our clearance checks out okay, but I will have to get a new gasket before I put all this back together. So we can go ahead and check our clearance now. And we are at over one and an eighth of an inch, which is good. Alternatively, you can use one of these little rubber spacers or O-rings or a combination of them to build the height you need to get that clearance. I am going to probably put in one of the small ones just to ensure I have sufficient clearance because they do say minimum one and an eighth clearance so that's what I'm gonna do. Now before I install the Wagner PCV I'm gonna reinstall this one and we're gonna fire up the engine and get a vacuum reading. So the engine's basically warmed up and as you can see I have about 13 inches of vacuum and to set our idle flow under the dual flow mode it says because I have 400 plus cubic inches and 10 to 14 inches of vacuum I need to turn the idle screw one and three quarter turns out counterclockwise to set my idle flow. We can now set our idle flow and our adjustment screw right here is seated just lightly and according to the instructions and based on my engine I need to turn this screw one and three quarter turns counterclockwise to set this and you can see I drew a little marker right here with a sharpie just to help me uh, know how much I'm turning this accurately. So that's one and three quarters. So that is set. Now before installing it, which you can see I have my rubber spacer on there, I need to remove this screw right here and install the little nipple for our vacuum gauge. And this um, Allen key right here is included in the kit. It comes with two of them, which is really nice. Now it says to install it just finger tight. So that's what we're going to do. To tune our cruise circuit, 
we are going to turn this adjustment screw clockwise, so turn it in, until we see three or more inches of vacuum on our vacuum gauge, and then we're going to back it off until it goes back to zero, and then we're going to back it off a further three quarters of a turn, and then we should be done. And we're going to do that with the engine running. So I went for a couple of drives to test out our new Wagner PCV system and it seems like it's working good. The spark plugs, I pulled them out of the one and two cylinders and there is no oil on the plugs themselves. Uh, there is some, you know, soot buildup or carbon buildup in the, in the plug because I haven't changed these in years. A little bit of oil on the threads is because, you know, the valve cover is leaking. So that was kind of to be expected, but, uh, in terms of oil in the cylinder, it appears to be dry, which is great news. As for oil leaks on the engine, well, this valve cover that we uh, changed the gasket on, completely dry, which I guess is to be expected. This side, not so much. <laughs> it's been leaking for a while. And so there's a, a little bit of oil buildup there, which means I'm going to have to change the gasket under that valve cover. And it makes this side completely inconclusive. Underneath the car, I still have a small drip, which uh, in my case is the rear main seal. I can't say if it's any better or any worse, but uh, it is still there. Um, and I guess some leaks are just always going to leak if they're bad enough, but um, I was kind of hoping that it would be fixed, but it is not. So I will keep an eye on uh, the rest of the leaks on the engine. And uh, if there's anything to report back, I will do that on my Instagram. So be sure to follow along there. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.